faith must be transmitted. In the Gospel, where the Lord sends forth the Apostles, this is the end of that Gospel. The Lord reveals himself as Saviour, as the only Son of God. He reveals himself to all Israel, all people, especially and with more details to the Apostles and to the disciples. Jesus left and he was taken up into heaven. There at the right hand of God he took his place. Before leaving, when Jesus appeared to the eleven, he said to them, Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. This is the missionary dimension of faith. Faith is either missionary or it has no faith at all. It is not something only for myself so that I may grow with faith. This is just so much Gnostic heresy. Faith always leads you to come out of yourself, to go out. The transmission of faith. Faith must be transmitted. It must be offered, above all, by witness. Go, so that the people see how we live. Someone once told me how a minister working in an EU city, there is a lot of unbelief here, a lot of Gnosticism in the city, because the Christians don't have faith. If they did, they would certainly give it, share it with the people. They lack the missionary dimension of faith, because conviction is lacking at its root. Yes, I am a Christian. I belong to this church and attend this church. Come with me, as if it were a mere social invitation, a social habit. On your identity card or driver's license, passport, etc., your name is printed, your address, and some miscellaneous other personal data the government may require blood donor, wears glasses, organ donor, etc. But in many places, it will also denote religious affiliation, so that appropriate actions are taken in the event of death. It is a piece of information on the card. It is not faith. This is a cultural thing. Faith necessarily takes you out. It leads you to share that faith with others, because essentially faith must be transmitted. It is not something small, something quiet. Oh, so you mean we must all be missionaries and go to far off countries? Or stand on street corners proselytizing to anyone who walks past? trying to convince them of the greatness of Jesus and Christianity? No, neither. The missionary dimension means that if you have faith, you must, by necessity, come out of yourself and show that faith in your society. Faith is a social quality or characteristic. For if everyone goes into the whole world and proclaims the gospel to every creature, this doesn't mean you become that proselytizing person who tries to recruit people for the team, so to speak. It means you show the revelation so that the Holy Spirit might work in people, through people, through witness, as a witness with service. Service is a way of life. If I say that I am a Christian, but I live like a pagan, that doesn't convince anyone. If I say that I am a Christian and live as a Christian, this attracts. 
it is witness. In the history of the church, how many movements or aggregations have been born of women and men who wanted to convince others, to convert others. If they acted as proselytes, this ended in corruption, for there was no faith there. There wasn't the missionary dimension there. This passage of the gospel is so very tender. But what is the certainty? How can we be sure that by going out of ourselves, we will be fruitful in the transmission of our faith? Proclaim the good news to every creature, and you will see wonders. And the Lord will be with us until the end of the world. In the transmission ideologies, there are teachers that when I act out of faith, the Lord accompanies me. I am never alone in the transmission of faith. It is the Lord with me who transmits faith. He promised, I will be with you all days, even till the end of the world. Let us pray to the Lord that he helps us to live our faith in this way. A faith with open doors, a faith with open hearts, a faith with open minds, a transparent faith, not with proselytism, but which shows itself through honesty and that missionary dimension. This is my faith. This is how I live. This is an example of the teachings of my Lord and my Saviour. And with respectful, healthy curiosity, may he help others to receive our message that will bring them eternal life.